Irimari made these remarks during his visit to Ehenya's Extension 16, where residents of most informal settlements whose homes were flooded have been relocated to. By this afternoon, over 950 people, including children, have been relocated to the site, and the numbers keep increasing by the minute. The tents erected at the site to accommodate over 170 families who are standing at 73, while sublution facilities are currently five, and one tap of which the governor promised that the shortage is being addressed. The situation is not that worse, you know, critical as people are saying. It's just that, you know, it's not that, you know, worse. You know, it's a mild situation, it's manageable, it's controllable. You know, we are in fact, you know, at, you know, we are in charge. We are in charge with regard to the situation, we are in fact ahead of it, yeah, in terms of the preparation of the region itself. Health officials and other essential government services were also at the site assessing the situation to ensure that they provide the required support. Yesterday, majority of the people at the site indicated that food supplies that they had have been spoiled by the excess water and therefore are in need of food aid. To this, Irimari could however not say if they will provide the relocated residents with food aid, but says his office will request from the Prime Minister's office after compiling the list of those who do not have the means to support themselves amongst the group. I will not assure you that, you know, uh, as today is Tuesday, you forward this information, they have to sit about it and do the, you know, and you know the procurement process might be long. Okay, that one I might not be assured, but you know, the assurance is that, you know, something will be done. What is of concern, however, is that water levels about a stone throw from the site continues to rise, fearing that the relocation site might also become flooded. The region's Disaster Risk Management Committee has begun the process of scouting for possible areas of relocation in case that happens and if the influx of people continues. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Oshakati.